Hey there YouTubers. All right, unboxing video time. So we have a new case here. Um, I'm a little concerned, you know, uh, how good this is going to be. It's a uh, Golden Field brand I have never heard of. I think they're Chinese, um, which usually means, you know, so-so quality. Uh, we're optimistic, though. The reviews, you know, were so-so. Um, so I don't know what to expect. And then, of course, you know, anytime something like this comes to Hawaii, it uh, takes a big chance of getting damaged. So let's go ahead and get it open. It is, uh, what is today? June 16th, 2020. And hopefully everybody's having a great day out there, wherever you may be. So at least uh, it was boxed twice. Thank you, Amazon. And I thought I had ordered a mid tower. This seems a little on the smaller side compared to the other mid towers I've been buying lately. Let's get out of there. All right, so we got an unboxing inside of another box. And. Uh, I guess we'll just let you guys see the outside of the box real quick. Um, I could have sworn this was 17. It says 21. So that may be a problem. <laughs> ATX, micro ATX, ITX, yada, yada, yada. Can't read that because it's in Chinese, of course, and I don't speak Chinese or read it. But, uh, you know... A lot of computer parts made there, and uh, I honestly hope this is a good brand because uh, right now they're the only ones that have decent prices on Amazon. At least for what I got, it seemed like a decent price. We do have uh, one other case coming in, uh, mainly because I bought all this tension stuff. I gotta have computers to put them in. I got all the other accessories for the most part. But, uh, well, it's in there pretty tight. Oops. I have to uh, huh. This does have I think this has tempered glass on it. There we go. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. I think it's almost time for the flash. That did absolutely nothing, right? So, if I happen to like this product, which usually is uh, not too likely. I will possibly try and reach out to this company and see if they will supply us with some more cases. Uh, that way I don't have to pay for them. But, all right, let's get into it. All right, so um, it would appear we have acrylic glass here and we have tempered glass in the front. Um, I don't know, I don't believe the Amazon ad stated that correctly. But the odd thing is, I cannot actually pull this case up anymore. Um, so I don't really know what in the heck I ordered. Matter of fact, this doesn't even look like it because um, some things look different. So we'll see. Maybe it's the right case. It said 21, of course, when I ordered something 17. All right, let's talk about what's on top. This would appear to be a power button. One of these is probably the uh, hard drive light. Um, headphone, microphone jack. So a lot of these computers I've been buying lately, this is uh, non-existent on the front. Two USB 2.0s, a 3.0, and a reset button. 
I don't believe this has RGB, so that must be a reset button. Like I said, we have uh, glass on the front. We have acrylic on this side. And we will take uh, all the sides off. Then we have, um, this would appear to probably be 80 millimeter uh, location for a fan. They did not include that. Then, of course, your expansion card slots, the removable uh, covers. And these appear to be throwaway ones. And then, of course, a full ATX power supply will go there. Let's go ahead and get this uh, side off. All right, so uh, these were thumb screws. Three of them these were, uh, they had basically uh, thumb type screws that I was able to get out. Yeah, this is definitely acrylic, which is good because when I send this back to Virginia uh, on the airplane, it may survive. So, um, before we get into the connectors, fan-wise, you've got uh, three locations. It looks like only one size, and those look like 120 millimeter, not uh, 140. That's a bummer that they did not splurge for uh, a better setup there. Um, overall, my opinions, uh, having done sheet metal design, this is, uh, you know, rather cheap. Um... If this was going for $30, it would probably be a decent deal. Considering I think I paid close to $50, it's, uh, you know, there's better stuff out there. Uh, but right now, it's kind of difficult to find anything good. Now, it does have your PSU shroud, which is nice, right? Um, except for, I like the ones with the windows so I can see what power supply I put in there. This does have some cutouts there to uh, help with some airflow. And obviously on the back to run your cables and wiring to the, uh, the motherboard. Now, let's go ahead and look at the cables that came with it. Of course, you've got uh, USB 3.0 here, which has, interestingly enough, the USB 2.0 next to it. This is not going to work in all situations, folks. Uh, I hate to say it, you're not always going to have your USB 3.0 and your uh, 2.0 that close. Um, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've seen some other boards like that. Now, there is another USB 2.0 here and the HD audio, sorry, USB HD audio. And then, of course, your panel connectors. This has the standard ones, HDD, power switch, reset switch, and the power LED plus minus. Comes with a pack of hardware, which should include some standoffs. Uh, it's currently set up, it looks like, for mini ITX. So you will have to put, uh, if you go ATX in here, uh, which looks like it's going to be pretty tight, um, you will have to put uh, those in in these other locations. Um, actually, looks like it it'll handle. Well, it's going to handle mini ITX, ATX, and micro ATX. So, uh, has some areas to mount uh, hard drives. Uh, two and it looks like two and a half or your two and a half inch uh, solids. And I'm sure on the other side of this is probably a mount for a three and a half inch. So let's take that other panel off. All right, so uh, these were on, you know, tight. Had to break out the Phillips. We've got that off now. And voila. All right, so I don't know if I'll do a computer build with this case because, to be honest with you, I don't think anybody's going to check out the website for this case. Um, so it'd probably be a waste of my time. You know, you never know though. Um, so this, uh, of course, this has a lip. This will be a pain in the ass getting the power supply out, as I have seen in lots of places. Um, you do have spots here for the three and a half inch drives. These are made out of plastic, and uh, they do slide in and out. That's good. They've got a. Um, yeah, looks like a threaded hole, so you can fasten those down. That's nice. There are some things about this I do like. Uh, overall, I'll do another review of the product. Did come uh, to me in one piece, so that's good. 
Like I said, though, uh, seems a little thin on the uh, sheet metal. There are some uh, sharper edges on it, so those aspects could have been done better. And, uh, you know, overall, um, it's just okay. I won't recommend it, but I wouldn't uh, not recommend it. We'll leave it at that. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.